Najzagonetnije građevine na svijetu su piramide. Razbacane su diljem svijeta, ima ih raznih vrsta i veličina, ali njihovo podrijetlo i svrha još uvijek se nalaze u sferi nagađanja. Nešto svjetlo na misteri piramida daju razni eksperimenti koji se na mnogim mjestima provode već barem pola stoljeća. Mjesto gdje se danas grade piramide i gdje se istražu njihovi potencijali jest Rusija. Od tamo stiže Valeri Uvarov, istraživač koji je ujedno i konstruktor velike piramide u ruskom gradu Tomsku. S njim smo sastanak dogovorili ovdje, na rubu znanosti. Pozdrav svima. Danas razgovaramo sa Valerijem Uvarovom, ruskim istraživačem piramida i ufologom i općenito čovjekom s interesom za razna egzotična područja. Pozdravljam i vas. Eto, u posljednjih nekoliko godina Rusija je postala nekako zemlja piramida, ne zbog toga što ih je imala iz davnina, već zbog toga što su u njoj pojavili neki graditelji piramida, konkretno one koje je privukao dosta svjetske pažnje, bio je Aleksandar Golot. Pa počnemo sa tim čovjekom koji je već izgradio desetke piramida, poznate li ga i s kojom svrhom on gradi piramide? Well, actually, he is active with pyramids already more than 15 years. And he was the first one, probably, who started to pyramids, you know, in numbers, many pyramids in different areas of, say, of Russia, and for different reasons. From the beginning, he considered himself to be as the builder of the pyramids. So he just gathered different information and um, become a person who probably deeply understood that pyramids have a very profound effect on a human organism, he started to build the pyramids, simple pyramids, and the first pyramids were 11 meters high, second generation of the pyramid, 22 meters high, third generation, 44 meters high. That pyramid have been built of wood. It's like wooden construction covered with material like a fabric, okay? And this fabric covered with glue. So, it is pretty simple, I would say, something like a construction in the form of the pyramid. But at the same time, even on this, on the, this type of pyramids, very interesting results have been received. I have been in a few pyramids which Alexander built, and I know him personally very well. And I say that uh, at that moment, that was kind of a stimulation for me too because uh, being involved in investigation of pyramids for more than 30 years, I myself started from ancient texts, Sumerian, Egyptian texts, and at the same time, already there, at that time, I noticed that pyramids and the instruments, let's say, which ancient Egyptians have been used, they had a very interesting objective. First of all, like uh, a tools for um, against the cancer let's say like this for me it was so important so stimulating that uh, i spent as i told you many many years investigating and then we started to build in russia full-scale pyramids made of white quartz approximately the same type as the uh, keops pyramid but at the same uh, moment I'd like to point out that Kelp's Pyramid plays a very special role. Uh, I'm tried to pull together all information gathered from Egyptian Pyramid, Chinese Pyramid, Sumerian Pyramid, Mayan Pyramid, and to create construction smaller than Kelp's Pyramid. Kelp's Pyramid 146 meters high. Oh very very expensive but smaller but at the same time very effective and already these instruments these pyramids gave us absolutely amazing results u Rusiji su do sada provedeni brojni eksperimenti vezani uz utjecaj piramida na okoliš, na žive organizme i slično u mnogima od njih ste i vi sudjelovali pa ćemo probati malo baciti svjetlo na te eksperimente krenemo recimo od eksperimenta koji je rađen na Institutu za istraživanje cijepjeva Mečnikov. 
a koje naravno uključivao uvijek neizbježne i često puto eksperimentima jadne miševe. Što su pokazali ti eksperimenti i kako su bili zamišljeni? Well, uh, first of all we decided to make kind of extreme experiments with the pyramids and first of all experiments connected with the human health for this reason we get into contact with the uh, Michnikov uh, vaccine institute this is the Russian Medical Academy of Science in Moscow and the experiment was conducted on a few group of mice we had two groups in general one group it's so-called experimental group of mice and just ordinary group, non-experimental, control group, so-called. Control group, they were living the normal life, but experimental mice, they were exposed into the pyramid for several days. And then, experimental mice have been, and control mice too, have been uh, introduced by very deadly virus, which called Salmonella tifi murium. Important is that this is so strong, so badly, uh, and deadly type of uh, viruses which kills an animal with even few cells. And after introduction to mice, this uh, bacteria in control group, all mice died. But what is interesting that in experimental group, 40% of, of mice stayed alive. And that was absolutely amazing effect. Then we changed a little bit the concentration for smaller ones. 60% of mice, experimental mice stayed alive. Controls, all of them were dead. And the bigger concentration, much bigger than, we have got 7% of mice stayed alive. That means this is absolutely amazing result, which showed us very strong antiviral effect. So in general we can consider that the field of the pyramid has very strong and vivid antiviral effect. Ispričajte nam sad o eksperimentima koji su urađeni unutar Ruske akademije znanosti na Virološkom istraživačkom institutu Ivanovski, gdje su se istraživači pozabavili opet nekima od vrlo važnih i aktivnih tvari u našem tijelu. Another interesting experiment we conducted in Ivanovski antiviral research institute where we, uh, we have been working with immunoglobulin. So this immunoglobulin was dissolved into water and uh, then uh, this uh, immunoglobulin in two concentration, uh, 50 milligrams per liter and 0.05 milligrams per liter have been exposed into the pyramid. Later, this immunoglobulin have been introduced into cells 24 hours before the self, cells have been poisoned by very strong uh, type of viruses. And what is interesting that the concentration of 0.5 milligrams per milliliter, which usually has no any protective effect, after exposition to the pyramid had protective effect more strong and more profound than concentration hundred times more. And then what is interesting when we dissolved, we decrease the uh, concentration 1000 times and then 100,000 times the effect was absolutely the same. It means that protective effect completely stopped to be uh, dependent on the concentration. Which means that, first of all, this immunoglobulin and water uh, exposed to the pyramid has a very strong protective effect. And for our immune system, which is usually damped down by any medicine which we use, also can have a very interesting and very important beneficial effect. We just noticed that any medicine after exposition to the pyramid has immunostimulating effect quite opposite to a normal medicine. Vrlo zanimljivi eksperimenti provedeni su i na polju agrikulture, konkretno sa sjemenjem suncokreta. Što su oni pokazali? It is also one of the experiments that have been done. Chile, uh, 
seeds have been taken, seeds of sunflower and turnips, and then they have been exposed to the pyramids for a few weeks. And later, uh, these seeds have been taken into the ground. And we had the two fields, experimental field and control field. Control field, well, any sunflowers, they grew the same type as everywhere, but experimental, all of them have been at least two times bigger in size, vividly bigger. The same with the turnips. When we took uh, two turnips and put them, we, we uh, tried to figure out the weight of them. The experimental group was twice more heavy than control group. This is one effect. Another effect is that the turnip and sunflowers after exposition, they had a more profound resistance about or against cold weather and negative influences of the atmospheric effects, which is also a very important result for agriculture. Ispričajte nam ponešto i o eksperimentima rađenim na Istraživačkom institutu teoretske i eksperimentalne biofizike koje inače se nalazi u sklopu Ruske medicinske akademije znanosti. So, in that experiment that was conducted also on mices, we took just usually table salt. And this table salt has been dissolved, like 10% dissolved in the normal water. Then, this uh, salty water has been given to mice to drink. And at the same time, approximately two or three times per week, uh, we dipped mice into the water. And what we noticed, that these mice who drank this water exposed into the pyramid and at the same time were swimming in the water showed absolutely absence of any stress. And uh, this assessment we did by the number of lymphocytes which in tumulus gland, because in, the, in case of stress, these uh, uh, lymphocytes jump down very sharply. But in all cases with mouses which drank the water exposed into the pyramid and that mouses were, which were swimming in the water, they do not show stress at all. It means that the water exposed into the pyramid has very strong anti-stress effect. Osim na miševima provođeni su neki eksperimenti vezani uz piramide i uz ljude. Konkretno na neonatalnom odjelu intenzivne njege unutar Ruškog istraživačkog centra za ginekologiju rađeni su eksperimenti vezani uz bebe koje su se tek rodile sa nekakvim zdravstvenim poremećima. Kako su se odvijali ti eksperimenti i s kakvim rezultatima? That experiment which we conducted in neonatal intensive care department of the uh, Russian Medical Academy of Science was so something very special for us. And that experiment, we used 40% glucose dissolved in the distilled water. And uh, this experiment was conducted on newborn babies with very serious, very hard um, diseases and abnormal. So, um, we took this data from 20 patients. In this case, in, in, during this experiment, this 40% uh, glucose have been injected internally or used externally, just washing kids, by this uh, solution. The data also and was gathered and we used so-called immediate state index which shows the state of uh, organism at a certain moment. And in these babies, this IC index was sometimes almost to zero. And what is important, in even these cases, when this index of immediate stain index was almost zero, after introduction of 30% glucose to kids or washing the kids with this water, the, this uh, index jump up to normal levels, from zero to normal levels, and which is 
which is absolutely amazing result. And we were talking between us during that experiment that we actually deserve a Nobel Prize for that because it's a very serious result. The pyramids, especially for kids, we came to understanding that uh, this is future. Our future, all that results in connection with medicine and especially stimulation of immune system and mental abilities, energetic abilities, creative abilities. Pyramids, this is the instrument which opens up for us endless perspectives. Posvetimo se sada malo vašem projektu u Tomsku, gradnje jedne velike i dosta lijepe piramide. Kako je uopće započeo taj projekt? Otkud se pojavila i volja, i novac, i inicijativa? Actually, after publishing two of my books in internet, and especially results of investigation which we have received of the building, first experimental full-scale pyramid near St. Petersburg, I've got a phone call from Tomsk. And that was a man, a businessman, who just came to St. Petersburg and asked for the meeting. And he said during the meeting that he is from Tomsk, where almost one million people are living. And among these people, there are 600,000 students. And then he asked me, is it possible to do something according to the knowledge which we have received from ancient texts and during experiments we did in Medical Academy of Science and during the other experiments. Is it possible to do something to stimulate these students' creative abilities, to let them energy for better health, more active work? That amazed me completely. And I said to him, let's do it. And we made a pretty serious project and started to build the whole city of the pyramids near Tomsk. Actually, we have got uh, 522 hectares of the land, approximately 10 minutes to drive from Tomsk, and started to build a complex of 33 pyramids. And till this, the end of this year, we are completing nine central pyramids already. The main idea is that all students will be able to use water exposed into the pyramids, food exposed into the pyramids, especially under that central pyramid. We have a special area, 1,200 square meters, where we already expose food different food, especially those who contains water, and then we whether sell or spread among the people in Tomsk. People then, when the complex will be finished, can work there, rest there, swim in the, let in the lakes which will be around this area. Then we plan to build kindergartens, school, business centers, homes for living, so that the whole area would be under this stimulative effect. And at the same time, from the beginning, we made a very special choice for the area to build. Right under the complex, approximately 300 meters deep, there is a huge lake, huge, much bigger than Baikal. It means that water, this is the perfect uh, environment to spread so-called useful signal of the pyramid as far as water goes. But through this lake, we cover all areas in Tomsk. We co covered, I think, half of Siberia. And I can tell you that almost two hours later, when we started to build, climate in the city changed. Much more, you know, much more calm situation. When I'm coming to Tomsk now, I remember 32 two years ago. It was, you know, very you know, humble, people moving, pretty stressful. Now I come to Tomsk, couple of days, and I feel like anything goes on. I feel quiet. So absolutely different situation. And right after completing this complex, plus to what we already did, we plan to make a second stage, following stage, of serious medical and physical experiments in these pyramids. So the Tomsk is going to be the first complex 
ever built on planet Earth with a very special energetic system under this, system, under this complex. As I told you, I have combined and synthesized all knowledge from all over the world about any pyramid and we build a complex, smaller in size, but much more effective than any complexes all over the world. Na koji način je ta piramida konstruirana? Kako izgleda iznutra, kako izgleda izvana, koje prostorije i komore zapravo ima i za koju svrhu? First of all, we should take an account that uh, to build a proper pyramid, you need to make a right choice for material and for the place. So we made a choice and the place uh, need to have natural energetic flow coming out from the ground. And what is important that any energetic flows, even on so-called sacred places, they have certain negative aspect. I call that negative aspect. So this is the reason why we built as the foundation 12 sided like a construction. And, and this 12 sided construction being in a certain proportion with a pyramid play the role of neutralizer of this negative aspect. And then on this foundation we built a pyramid which contain 25 pyramidal shaped chambers inside. And each chamber on each floor on one hand uh, are increasing the energetical capacities, the power of the field. At the same time, in the future, each room will contain a certain instrument to transfer um, energy from the, for example, from any substances into the water. Because we have, re we have received during our experiment interesting effect when we took some medicine and then this medicine was uh, put under the energetic floor coming to the water. And what is interesting, then the water started to have the same capacities as the remedy, without remedy. It means we can get a, a result without damaging our immune system. So the pyramid, as I told, has absolutely unusual construction. Beside it, in the center of the pyramid, there are two rooms containing energetic source and a special two-level water circulating system. Water is needed uh, very highly by two reasons. First of all, water contains information. And if we take just 50 ton of water, this water contains information about any living creature about any human being, about any insect, about any grasses, about any moments of chemical reactions, reactions in their organism from the beginning of the planet till today. So it means we have a wonderful hard disk containing absolutely all information about the Earth. This is so-called Akasha Chronic here. And the main idea is we built the system which can connect the brain to this water. And now it's understandable why we did it. Because we want to get access to the information about past and the future. But actually, ancient texts, they say that there is no past and no future. Everything is going on now. So we decided to make our own experiments and to see actually what's going on. And another reason why, it is because pyramids which were built, they have a very strong field very strong and we during our medical experiment came to understanding that immune system reacts on this field very specifically so what we need to do we need to transform this strong energy information flow into the range acceptable for human organism for human brains and this can be done effectively and properly only with the help of the water. And this is the answer why all ancient temples, all ancient pyramids always have been built near the water. 
U piramidi se također nalazi jedna velika kvarcna lopta i kristal. Koja je njihova svrha? The reason of quartz inside of the pyramid is very highly valuable and the reason is in the capacity of the quartz. Actually, the whole pyramid, whole construction of the pyramid is made of the white quartz. We make a concrete, but in, in the concrete we add so-called white quartz. White quartz has a very important capacities. Mm, internal axis of symmetry turned into spiral, left and right sided spiral. It gives a wonderful unusual capacity, so-called piezoelectrical effect. Piezoelectrical effect uh, helps to control inner biological time. Actually, let's be fair about it. We are living so, so not, not too much, not enough actually, just because we have a problems with inner biological time. And when ancient Eastern tradition says that we need to have and keep so-called in yang or baka in harmony in our organism, we understand that in yang it's a male and female beginning and so on. But one important idea actually in fact is missed that in in yang this is the two encounter flows of time. And if the time is too high in our organism, we live very fast. We have a lot of organism, uh, illnesses in organism, in the other problem. If the time is too slow, it causes cancer in our organism. If we keep it in harmony and then we got effect, so-called conservating effect. And here this is an answer why we use quartz. First of all, water and the quartz and water in the planet, quartz in the body of the planet, we have, they have a similar construction, diff, diff, similar crystal construction. It helps to receive very deep resonating effect. It means energy, natural vortex of energy, which ancient texts call like the energy of the God, stimulating the consciousness in any living organism, and this energy is emitted by planet Earth, goes into the resonance with quartz inside of the pyramid, and pyramid as amplifier increases the power of this energy, and any processes inside of the organism start to go quite different way stimulating immune system, nervous system, blood circulation system, a lot of possible positive effects. And at the same time, when we use the quartz on top of the pyramid, this is the place where energy goes from our dimension through the dot into the other dimension and back. Because any ancient text says that very close to us there is another world we call it today like dimension. That dimension contains the energy of the God. So most important life energy for us. So by this way, we are transmitting, we are receiving like antenna, this energy into the pyramid. Actually, pyramid, this is antenna. Let's say <laughs> truth about it. So quartz ball, which is biggest in the world, together with water, this is contained container. This is the system of reading information from the water. Central, a big piece of quartz crystal which is under the pyramid. Uh, he is in the center of the system which increases vibration of the crystal lattice of the quartz. And quartz starts to emit this very important energy for human organism. Actually, the system helps us to collect and to move energy into spiral under the central pyramid from the area almost 80 hectares. And this is the, what this is what most important things actually in the pyramids which I have, I have found in ancient texts. That's why I told we have complex of the pyramids which are smaller ones but at the same time they are much more strong and powerful than bigger ones.
U sklopu eksperimenata koje još prevodio Aleksandar Golod, on je pisao da je primitio nekakve antipotresne, antiseizmičke učinke piramida. Prema vašim saznanjima, može li se govoriti o takvim učincima, znači na smanjivanje mogućnosti potresa gradnjom piramida na određenom području? Well, actually, ancient pyramids have been built all over the world by 12 main reasons. And one of the reason was damping of anti-seismic activity. And it's, it's really so. If you look on the map of locations of the pyramids, you will clearly see that all complexes of the pyramids are located exactly in the area of high seismic instability. And the first idea which comes up is probably ancient builders, they were a little bit, you know, ignorant or what, why, why they built in the places where a pyramid can be destroyed within the following earthquake. But the answer is quite different. Um, during some experiments, we received factual scientific improvement that right from the top of the pyramid up into the sky goes energetic beam, pretty high, sometimes one kilometer, sometimes one and a half kilometer, and the same beam goes under the pyramid. And here, to understand how it works, we need to remember the uh, Eastern medicine, when and where, in case of illness, people go to the monks and they use so-called needles, which they put into acupuncture points. The planet Earth actually, according to ancient texts, built exactly the same way. Human being has a physical body and the planet Earth has physical body. We have energetic structure and same energetic bodies and Earth has the same. We have energetical channels and the Earth has energetical channels too. So, if you build a pyramid in a special place like acupuncture point of the body of the planet and this energetical beam go, goes under the ground like one or two kilometers and through the quartz, through the water, it can go even deeper. It helps to take off the inner tension and this is the reason why pyramids has so profound seismic anti-seismic effect. This is the reason why. Spomenuli ste neku energetsku zraku koja izlazi iz piramide. Koja je priroda te energije i na koji način ste je mjerili? Well, the nature is, I would say, natural, actually. This is, this is the phenomenon which uh, we have been able to register with the help of radar system because uh, that military radar system which have been uh, working and scanning the sky over the pyramids on a distance 60 kilometers, 32 and 30 kilometers from the pyramid, by the way, built by Alexander Golod. And right over that pyramid, this radar system on the screen register on very big, let's say, very big beam, which is uh, not, uh, how to say, not uh, transparent for electromagnetic signal. This is proven that this uh, beam is existing. And the same also result we have received when I was filming the pyramid at night, deep at night, from the distance of 40 kilometers, also has got a picture of this energetic beam. And another third case when we have registered this beam, it was also unusual case uh, during investigation of UFO landing area. We just made a few pictures of people standing at the place where those who witnessed UFO reported the fact that it was here. People, just normal people who were living on this area, but when we later developed the photo, we saw clearly that over each head of each person who was standing on this area, there is an energetic beam goes up sometimes three, sometimes four meters high. So for us, it was understandable. Also, why in ancient Egypt, pharaohs, they had so long, long, you know, 
stuff on their heads. We call it Corona Atef in Egypt. But actually, this is the concentrator which was concentrating this energy on hypothalamus and hypophysis to stimulate special capacities, clairvoyance, and so on and so on. So, what we did, we did very simple but absolutely hard experiments and we have got hard evidence of existence of this energetic beam over the pyramid. Takođe imate neke ideje u vezi toga da bi se piramidalni oblici mogli koristiti za domove, drugim riječima za gradnju stambenih objekata i kuća u obliku piramida. Kakve su vaše ideje i vaši planovi na tom polju? First of all, after years, many years of experiments with the pyramids, we came to some very important conclusions. And also, let's say, facing all that problems which we have in the world around us, these ideas, they were somehow stimulated. I'm talking about usage of these pyramids in our daily life, effects of the, our pyramids for our daily life, and especially for kids. So when we did a few experiments with kids, and also <laughs> at, the, at the moment before the woman got pregnant also, in all cases, when women have been prepared in the pyramid before to get child, kids were much more healthy, much more clever, much more strong. So we have got an idea that pyramids should be used continuously for stimulation of creative abilities of kids and at the same time taking into account our daily life. I'm a, is a well say, a grown-up person and not only me, I think all of, uh, of the people who is listening to us, they know. You get up in the morning, you drink your coffee, you run to the water, a couple of hours later you feel yourself exhausted, no power, no energy, you can do almost nothing. The best way for you, <laughs> go to bed and <laughs> sleep. It means we, l we, we have no enough energy for living, for thinking, for acting, for changing this world for better. Pyramid is the source of this energy. Now that was a moment and that was idea how to convert the energy of the pyramid for us, how we can use it on daily basis. And we came to understanding that we can build not only the pyramids for visitation, we can build homes, I would say better office and the living area in the pyramid where the energy of the pyramid will be stimulating our immune system, will be energizing our organism. And from this moment I'd like to tell you that it's not so simple, because pyramid is pretty complicated instrument and the effect of the pyramid on the human organism is also complicated. So the main idea that pyramid or pyramid-shaped construction for living houses, this is the right idea, but it should be done in a proper way so that the active zone, the first floor of the pyramid, always should be the ground on the first floor, living and sleeping on the second or third level of the pyramid, or it should be kind of a structure close to the pyramid. And then I'm sure that we will be getting up not at 8 or 7 o'clock in the morning, we'll be, get, we'll, we'll be getting up at 4, absolutely refreshed. Actually, I'm talking about my own experience. You go to bed at 12, at 1, and then you get up at 4 and feel yourself as I was sleeping a week in the forest, very refreshed. So, it works. So, this is the idea which stimulated another project. We are now working over few uh, projects in Russia, building the home in the form of the pyramid, using all these energetic structures, energetic sources for, uh, for the people. Što se tiče one vaše prve pyramide u St. Petersburgu, koliko ona bila velika, što ste u njoj radili, što se s njom danas biva, je li u funkciji, da li ili jednostavno ono, propada bez nekakve posebne upotrebe? Well, the first pyramid 
have been built as the model, experimental model. Uh, the proportion and the size of the pyramids should be taken by a special reason. That's why uh, the first pyramid have been constructed uh, according to the size of my spine, because the pyramid have been tuned on me, exactly. Then, in that pyramid, we have conducted few experiments in connection with the cancer, in connection with alcoholic effect on the human organism, because it's interesting how it works. And during these experiments, we found out interesting results we've got, very interesting, but we're gonna speak about it uh, maybe later. In any way, this pyramid now is closed only for scientific purposes. Why? Pyramid, in any cases, is kind of an accumulator of the energy. And uh, if you are working there with very heavy diseases, we consider to have this pyramid as the place for experiments, but not for visitation. That's why we keep it closed. But at the same time, coming to, underst coming to understand how it works, in the pyramids, for example, in Tomsk, we built a special system to clean up the pyramid. Pyramid actually can clean up itself with a sound. For this reason, we use bronze bowls and special type of vibration or music. On one hand, it loads pyramid with capacities, with energy, and the, on the other hand, it keeps pyramid always clean. So the main, main idea of the experiment, of experimental pyramid was the gathering of information of how pyramid is affecting organism, how pyramid is reacting on the, on the human being with one or another illness, because pyramid is the living organism. So this is the reason and why we have been used this pyramid and we are using up till today. Valeri, hvala na gostovanju na svim ovim informacijama o piramidama i želim vam doviđenja i sretan put. And I also want to say thank you and your team because you are doing very important work for the people. Actually, to bring the knowledge we have gathered not for ourselves, not only for Russia, for your audience too. And this is a wonderful chance for us that through your program, which I have heard is very, very popular, people can at least learn a little bit about actual capacities of the pyramid. And probably somebody will also start building the pyramids here, <laughs> starting from investigation of the subject, starting visiting pyramids in Bosnia, which is actually pyramids and wonderful site. With very, by the way, interesting healing effects. Very interesting. So step by step, people should know. And this is the reason why I say thank you for your work. <laughs>